Paraman, which was issued by Sultan uh, Suleiman the Magnificent, appointing my great grandfather, great Dajani uh, relative Ahmad Sheikh Ahmad Dajani, the founder of the family, to be the custodian of the King David tomb, and it was issued in 1525. In what may be a first, Mohammed Dajani, a Palestinian professor at the Al-Quds University in East Jerusalem, recently took 27 of his students to Auschwitz, the notorious concentration camp in Poland. The idea was to promote greater understanding between peoples, and yet Professor Dajani was branded by many of his own people as a traitor. I was born in Jerusalem, lived in Jerusalem my youth, and then was actually caught outside Jerusalem when the 1967 war took place and then I wasn't allowed to come back until 1993. Today we notice that the conflict has been turned from a political conflict to a religious conflict and uh, since the thesis of uh, Samuel Huntington of the clash of civilizations we tend to find that there are people now enmeshed with this, with this uh, religious war. And it is as if the Judeo-Christian is in one camp and then the Muslims in the other. And, uh, uh, and I believe that uh, this shouldn't be the case because uh, religion should teach us about peace and love and compassion and mercy and helping the other, while this is about uh, enmity, hatred, uh, conflict, uh, violence, terrorism. And so um, that's why I found it very important for me to be uh, involved in this. In Palestine, there are around 12 Palestinian parties and organizations and movements, but all of them believe in armed struggle to regain Palestine. They don't believe in uh, moderation or they don't believe in negotiations to reach a solution. They are thinking in terms of all or nothing. And that's why I thought these are people, they are moderate, they are Muslims, they are believers, who represents them? And that's why I felt it is so important for me to start this movement, which I call Wasatiya. The idea was how to promote a culture of moderation and to have an address for the people who are working in this field, who are Muslims and who would like to find a peaceful resolution for this conflict, and who believe in interfaith dialogue, who do, who do not believe that Muslims are in confrontation with Christianity and Judaism, or that Islam came to replace uh, Christianity and Judaism. So I thought that this is the time to start such a movement. And so I picked up a verse in the Quran, which says, and thus we have created you a moderate nation, a balanced nation. And this verse in itself is verse 143 of the second surah in the Quran, which is Al-Baqarah surah. And the Baqarah surah is composed of 286 verses. And so this verse comes exactly in the middle. And uh, if you read the Quran, you would tend to find that there is a lot of verses calling for balance, for calling for uh, justice, calling for middle ground, calling for moderation. Not only moderation in the way you think, but also moderation in the way you behave, in the way you walk, in the way you eat, in the way you treat the other in the way you resolve your problems. Thus, I, I felt that this chapter 
is missing from the education of the Palestinians in Palestine and Muslims in the abroad because I feel that uh, Muslims who are in the United States uh, or in Europe are focusing on the Bin Laden message of Islam and not the true Quranic message of Islam and so in this way we felt it is so important I felt it's so important to have the Quran as our reference so when people would argue with me about moderation or extremism my reference is the Quran and in this way I was able to refute a lot of the misinformation that has been uh, going on.